Welcome, I'm Dr. Janine Barry, naturopathic doctor, and today I'm talking about resveratrol, some of the best sources, the benefits, and longevity as it's related to resveratrol. So you may have heard, you know, drinking red wine, and this is most, where most people would associate resveratrol with is from red wine, that the benefits for longevity are definitely there. Well, we're gonna discuss that and some of the anti-aging benefits as well. So it's well known in the beauty industry that topical resveratrol, which a lot of companies are adding into their formulations, helps with anti-aging and with helping to maintain youthful skin. And the resveratrol is actually harvested from the darker grapes. So not from, you know, then the content of resveratrol in white wines and white grape juice is much less as compared to the darker grapes. They contain more of that resveratrol. Now, resveratrol is known not just for beauty benefits, but it also has been known to help with non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, which we know is definitely on the rise. So again, in moderation, when we're talking about, you know, actually taking in resveratrol in a wine format may not be the best because of the fructose and the fruit sugar as it's related to non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. So sometimes going to a supplement of resveratrol may be better in these types of scenarios with the liver. Now also, it's been known to help to decrease cholesterol levels in a natural way. It also has anti-cancer benefits because it is a powerful antioxidant. It has anti-inflammatory effects as well. And certainly research done on resveratrol in terms of, you know, longevity studies are definitely there. And this is related to sirtuins. And this is something that you can definitely look up and, you know, see some of the research that is there. Also, so when we talk about red wines and some some red wines are actually better in terms of the resveratrol content as compared to others. So one of the highest is Malbec. So the grapes used in Malbec wine have the thickest skin and this is why they do have the highest content of that resveratrol because it can be extracted as well as Petite Syrah would be high in resveratrol as well, Saint Laurent wine and also Pinot Noir. So I know, I know a lot of people love Pinot Noir and it is high in resveratrol. So the main type of resveratrol in wine is transresveratrol and it is a type of polyphenol and polyphenols are known to be very you know beneficial antioxidants for our overall health. It also has a large amount of flavonoids called a glycone so that's interesting as well. Now resveratrol is also found in some other foods so blueberries again think that dark skin again has that resveratrol as well as cranberries also has have resveratrol and really this is mother nature's way of protecting these fruits from that UV damage from the Sun so the darker that coloration in a lot of fruits and vegetables the more you're going to find these polyphenols and these antioxidant properties and that's true for the resveratrol when we look at the blueberries and the cranberries as well peanuts actually do have some resveratrol as well pistachio nuts uh, do have resveratrol and even onions contain some resveratrol. Now another great source of resveratrol is a plant called Raynutria japonica and this is a root that is much like rhubarb and actually looks a lot like rhubarb and it can grow very invasively so in different parts of the world it does grow and when it starts growing it sort of can take over. It's best harvested in the spring for its resveratrol content and it can be used in standardized extract. So we'll share a link below to a standardized extract of this plant to get that resveratrol in that proper concentration. It's also, you know, when we talk about herbal medicines, and this is something that I've discussed in other posts, it's not always best to just go to the roadside or if it's in your garden to utilize the plants there. The problem here is because of pesticides and fertilizer runoff that you may be ingesting more toxins toxins than the benefits of actually taking that plant and that's why I always encourage you know taking a standardized extract that's been tested to be free of any of those contaminants is really important especially when you're talking about you know something that you're ingesting for your own health. Now the interesting thing about the Raynutria japonica is that it actually has an antifungal and antibacterial effect and this is actually used in some organic farming as a natural fertilizer and 
insecticides. So again, some of the benefits maybe that you've not heard about this form of resveratrol from a plant. So I hope that you've learned something new. If you're taking resveratrol or you're thinking about it, please do leave a comment below or, or if you have any questions as well about longevity. This is something that I'm doing a lot of research right now in working on my next book. So I hope that you share this content with your friends, your family, someone that you know who will benefit from this information. Also give me a big thumbs up. I truly appreciate all of your positive feedback. And if you're new to my channel, welcome in. I hope that you're going to subscribe. Also click that bell so you always get notified of my newest and latest uploads, which happens every single day. And remember to always take good care of your health and do it naturally. Thanks for watching. Thank you.